Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I will present you a monk pool for farming, dungeons and challenge rifts. Firstly, I will show you the skills and legendaries used. With some rift gameplay on the background that you can already see over here, I will also show you some alternative skills and items you can use in different situations. So let's get straight into it. Firstly, we'll be using Fist of Thunder, mostly for movement by dashing mob to mob. You will also use it as a chip damage for the bosses. With this build, you have two primary damaging abilities and the first one will be Inner Sanctuary. With Inner Sanctuary, you want to be using Judgment's Watch. This headpiece makes Inner Sanctuary damage enemies inside it and it will reduce its cooldown to 20 seconds. With its reduced cooldown, it now has really really great damage per minute. And also because it is so big, it is really easy to kite monsters inside it. Now for kiting, we have Exploding Palm with Scalding Storm Legendary. This offhand makes Exploding Palm now chill enemies with 20% effectiveness and 40% effectiveness to anyone who scout on the explosion. This makes kiting and killing monsters in big packs a breeze. And to add to that, we have 7 sided strike with bread of incense. This legendary chest makes 7 sided strike explode palms bleed when you hit enemies that has the bleed. This effectively means you can use the 40% chill every time you have 7 strikes up. And to push that even further, we will be using Spirit Reach. This legendary main hand makes 7 sided strike place a runic circle that damages enemies inside it. And now with Breath of Incense, also explodes palms bleed. Now because this legendary makes 7 sided strike a persistent crowd damage, we can now trigger the palm 2 times with 1 7 sided strike for more damage and longer chills. We will also use shoulder legendaries with the 7 sided strike. Here you have two options, either go for damage or damage reduction. I personally went for damage reduction. Last ability is the second damaging ability and you guessed it, it's the mystic allies. You want to use Companion's Melody with the Mystic Allies. It will make Mystic Allies last 30% longer, making their damage per minute even better. I know, I didn't like Mystic Allies before because they died instantly on challenge rifts. But I found a trick to keep them alive most often. So first, chill the enemies with the palm and take distance. Then we pop the Mystic Allies and then we try to stay on the opposite side from the Mystic Allies. So the enemies try to attack you instead of the Mystic Allies. Now on to the set items. The set item we are using on this building everywhere is going to be again the Graces set. This set item increases inner sanctuaries and 7 sided strike damage and it also does great damage every 5 hit you make. This counts in dots, mystic allies and everything so you will be triggering this quite often. Now here is a showcase of this pool killing the elder boss. It is the best one to compare pools as it will be equalized to your gear and power. Now, you could use Cyclone Strike or some other persistent damaging ability instead of the Palm to kill the boss even faster, but I would rather have some utility in the build. I also promised you some alternatives, but these are only for farming and not meant to be used in challenge rifts. The most simplest change will be changing Scalding Storm to Reaching Rebuild to gain some mobility while farming and still keeping everything else except the chill. If you want the best mobility inside dungeons and open world farming, I would recommend taking Palm and 7 sided strike off and adding Shield of Zen and Wave of Light. With Shield of Zen I will use Intervening Love and Enlightenments of Blessing. With these legendaries you will gain dash and you will gain 25% increased movement speed while you have the shield on. Now with Wave of Light you will be using Radiant Sun. This is really great for triggering the grey set fourth piece. So the damage will be almost the same as with the 7 sided strike. And because my games are heavily requested, I will be showing my games now. I am using Blood Soget, Blessing of the Worthy, Chip of the Stoned Flesh, Hovler's Call, Phoenix Ashes, and Sleeping Bark. If you watched all the way over here and you actually get something out of this video, consider leaving a like and hit that subscribe button. If you have just assistance or if you want to leave a feedback, you can do that down in the comment sections. I will be looking them and answering to most of them. And as always, thank you for watching. Only thing left is going to be me killing the fifth boss 
with about 480% damage reduction and damage taken. Gods wish for my survival.